An elementary school principal yanks a fourth grader's Bible away and tells him not to bring it back to school. What's next? There's been a long precedent in our nation, going back to Supreme Court cases, and of course the First Amendment to the US Constitution, that students have an absolute right to religious liberty, even in public schools. Students don't shed their rights when they enter the schoolhouse gates. They still are protected, just like all of us, by the First Amendment and other uh, Bill of Rights to the Constitution. So these schools sometimes take just what is unbelievably absurd action. And what we're seeing a focus on right now is a lot of young people, very young people. A case we're working on right now at the ACLJ, family contact us. A fourth grader brings his Bible, a fourth grader brings his Bible to school so that at recess, he could share it with his friends or read stories from it with his friends. Totally up to him. Other kids can bring books, no issue. So the principal brings this fourth grader in, yanks the Bible away for the whole day, and then tells him when he gives it back to him at the end of the day, never bring this book back to school again. Well, those parents contacted us at the ACLJ, and let me tell you something, we quickly educated that school administrator and that principal. But just imagine the damage he did to a fourth grader. Well, it happened to a third grader as well. A third grader was told by their teacher they can't talk about their faith to other students. I mean, just imagine trying to even think what that third grader is going through. Do you know what the teacher did? Didn't just tell the students to stop. Made an example of a third grader in front of the whole class and told the whole class, hey, by the way, none of you have these rights. But this teacher tried to make an example of this student. It's even worse, I mean, we're talking about third graders. Either they are overactive teachers worried about lawsuits, which I tend to not believe. I tend to think more and more uh, in our culture and time period we live in that these teachers and these administrators and principals have an actual animosity towards the Christian faith and they're taking it out on third and fourth graders. Thankfully, the parents found out and they contacted us at the ACLJ. But there's more cases that we're working on that just seem absurd. So this one school allowed students to decorate their lockers and one student put up a cross. Well, at first the school said, well, everything else can stay up but the cross. The ACLJ responded there. And then what we see time and time again, and pay close attention to this, especially during the holiday season. We had a student who was performing in a talent show and they chose on their own. You know, it wasn't the school who told them to sing. They chose to perform a Christian song. And they were told by the school administrator, by the principal, you can't do that. You don't have religious liberty or religious freedom at this public school. Well, luckily again, thankfully again, the parents contacted us at the ACLJ and we were able to resolve it. Let me just make it clear. If you know about any of these kind of situations, you need to go to aclj.org forward slash help and contact us at the ACLJ. These cases are pouring into the ACLJ right now. I mentioned four specific ones. So we need your support. We need the resources so we can fight back. You know, people go to aclj.org forward slash help so that we can be ready for what's next.